Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 5 of the worksheet on chapter 3 for the intermediate algebra class. Objective, solving a percent mixture problem with a system of linear equations. A chemical company makes two brands of antifreeze. The first brand is 55% pure antifreeze and the second brand is 80% pure antifreeze. In order to obtain 160 gallons of a mixture that contains 75% pure antifreeze, how many gallons of each brand of antifreeze must be used? We will create a table for the information given. So it says uh, there are two brands which are getting mixed. The first brand um, has 55% pure antifreeze and the second brand has 80% pure antifreeze. It doesn't say how many of gallons of each brand and antifreeze are used. So that's what the question is. So we'll assume that X amount of X gallons of antifreeze for X gallons of first brand and Y gallons of second brand were used and first brand has got 55% Pure antifreeze, which is converted to decimal, which converted to decimal, is 0.55, and then uh, second brand has 80% pure antifreeze, which is 0 0.80 converted to decimal. So if you calculate the amount of pure antifreeze in each brand, you have to multiply column one with column two, which is the amount of antifreeze times the pure antifreeze which is x times 0.55 that is 0.55x y times 0 0.80 which is 0 0.80y now one more information given in the problem in order to obtain 160 gallons of, uh, of a mixture so the total mixture consists of 160 gallons so that goes under the total and it also contains 75 percent of 75% of pure antifreeze. So that goes as 75% here in the uh, along the total area which is converted to, which converted to decimal is 0.75. So in the mixture the total uh, pure antifreeze would be the multiplication of these two columns which is 0 0.75 times 160. Now we are ready to set up the equation. If you add uh, the amount of gallons of first brand with the amount of gallons of second brand, you are going to get 160. That is equation 1. So the setup in this one, you have to get two simultaneous equations and two unknowns. So x plus y equal to 160, that is equation 1. Then equation 2, pure antifreeze. Um, from brand 1 plus pure antifreeze from brand 2 equal to the pure antifreeze in the mixture which is 0.75 times 160. So now let's take the second equation and multiply everything by 100. So 0 0.55 times 100 will be 55x, 0 0.80 times 100 will be 80y. 0.75 times 160 will become 75 times 160. As it's divisible by 5, divide the whole thing by 5. So it will be 11x, 80 divided by 5, uh, that will be a 16y, equal to 75 divided by 5, that will be a 15 times 160. Now 15 times 160 uh, will be 2400. You can use calculator for this part. So we get two equations in two unknowns. One is x plus y equal to 160, the other one is 11x plus 16y equal to 2400. So we will take these two equations and use the elimination method. We will eliminate one of the variables. So we will multiply equation 1 by 11. We will multiply equation 1 by 11. Uh, in fact, by negative 11. So we are going to multiply the first equation x plus y equal to uh, x plus y equal to 160 by negative 11.
So we get negative 11x if you distribute negative 11y equal to 160 times uh, 11 which will be 1760 with the negative sign. That is equation 1. Now we are going to take this equation uh, which is equation 2 and this equation the modified equation 1 and that way we have we have made the coefficients equal and opposite. So we are going to add the two equations. So 11x minus 11x that becomes 0. 16y minus 11y that will become a 5y equal to 2400 minus um, 1760. which is 640 and you are going to divide both sides by 5 in order to isolate the y. So y equal to 128 and we have to get x. So you substitute the y in um, the simplest equation which involves x and y namely x plus y equal to 160 and then solve for x. So substitute y equal to 128 in equation 1. So x plus y replace y with 128 equal to 160. So in order to get x you have to move the 1t and t8 to the other side. The positive will become negative. So 160 minus 128 which will be a 32. So x equal to 32 and y equal to 128. But to give uh, an interpretation in the problem it says first brand how many gallons. Second brand how many gallons. First brand was our x which must be replaced by 32 gallons. And second brand is 128. That's what Y is. So we fill in like that. Or you can verbally write the statement. Uh, first brand 32 gallons. And second brand 128 gallons. If they were not given fill in the blanks. Hope this video helps.